Barker set to jump up against Cardoso. The opening tip controlled by South Carolina in the home white. And here we go in quarterfinal number one in Greenville. Thus far, no teams have figured out a way to beat South Carolina because they can beat you with the speed and they can beat you inside. Cardoso, you have not been following the South Carolina team this year. There's Koulibaly with the steal, throwing it up. That is Jones on the run with the finish. Well done by Texas A&M. Won't make the Aggie head coach happy. Pow, pow. Four, three. Number one in the country at better than 48%. Pow, pow on the push. Bree Hall, excellent shooter. She hits the three. Really came on in conference play, hitting 47% from outside the arc. Up three. Three to go in the first. Trying to save it as she ran out of play. And she takes out a chair and made it taken out somebody else too back there. And it obviously has numbers. Rogers, Watkins sprinting back, but Barker got the shot off in time for three. Janaya Barker came out ready to play, as did her Aggies teammates. You have to be ready from the opening tip. Today at Hilton into the game. Bowles will launch a three. That's big for Texas A&M if they can get Sydney Bowles heated up from outside. Open is just how they lead them. And Sydney Bowles, you can't give any space to. Tess Johnson just kind of flagging at her. That's like saying, do you? Good job by Texas A&M defensively. Soleil Williams, the freshman with the steal. And the push and the block by Johnson for South Carolina. How about that defensive play? With great transition defense. Tessa Johnson just gets back, gets square. Ware tried to knock it off of Full Wiley. Here comes Full Wiley moving through traffic, looking back for Johnson. Wide open three. We'll end the run at nine straight for South Carolina. Really important answer there by Texas AM, but even better response <laughs> by South Carolina. With the finish. And South Carolina rolling here in the second. Koulibaly from deep. 4-3, Aisha Koulibaly. Just 16% from outside the three-point line this season. Green on the ball, action by the Ags that I was talking about. You see Ashlyn Watkins go with the ball handler. Koulibaly stays high. Where back to Rogers. Seven on the shot clock. Rogers open three. Still trying to find the range now. 0 for 5 from the field. Raven Johnson off the window for two. Kitts. She'll take it from outside and knock it down. Chloe Kitts taken out of the rhythm thanks to those two fouls in the first quarter, trying to find her rhythm here in the third. Look at how far out KK Green is trying to initiate the offense because of the on-ball pressure of Raven Johnson. Marie Hall will do more of the same on Rodgers. Rodgers 0 for 5 in the first half. Second half's a different story. Knocks it down for three. And Eric, I wonder if that's one of the adjustments by AM coming off the initial on-ball screen. South Carolina was so good defending that in the first half. There you saw the re-screen. Pow Pow on the drive over Ware, no. Cardoso has it blocked, Ware rips it away. Already South Carolina's defense being disruptive. Shot clock got skinny in every possession for the Aggies so far. Kitts with the finish. It's averaging just under 10 points a game. This is a balanced South Carolina team. Cardoso leading the team and scoring at 14 points a game. Barker found where, where, and one. Saying it was spot on. Where waited until KK Green got out of the way to set the on ball. Then KK Green set the great diagonal. Yeah, guys, Koulibaly was in the hallway getting worked on by the training staff. They were just getting some, uh, looking for movement around her jawline, just kind of checking to make sure she had some mobility around the neck, but yeah, didn't it have to go to back to the locker room? It's always a good sign. Oh, and the roll by the bigs is on display for both teams. Great lead pass by Bree Hall. Good hands, good finish. Was denied. Barker was close to her, and here's Rogers. Barker on the run, and 
And the finish. Here comes Texas A&M, led by Janiah Barker. Downhill, getting to the rim for the Aggies. She's read the defense. She has not committed any turnovers by going. Stopping her. She's been in her ear for a few seconds now, trying to calm her down, trying to keep her locked in the game, even though she'll be watching from the bench for quite a while now to the bench with four fouls. Johnson for Cardoso inside. And Eric's just a little, another little rub back screen. And you saw Cardozo just clear with Lauren Ware out of the way. And better pass by Rick. For number one, South Carolina. I sell for Watkins here. Against Johnson. Too strong, too quick, too good. Now for Wiley will defend Rodgers. Where spins over Watkins for two. AM doing a much better job attacking off of the screen on the ball and hitting the post, whether it's up and in or just hitting the roller this half so far. Ball takes the handoff from Watkins. Watkins finds Cardoso, who flips it up with the left and one. High post pass. And then the give and go, Watkins to Camilla Cardozo, coming back for the and one. We're during that 17-5 burst to close out the quarter. Johnson to Watkins for two more. Arm got up a little bit, but it is a foul on Watkins. Raven Johnson just has her head up, makes the eye contact for Ashlyn Watkins. Fagan and Watkins in the post. On the floor, Quillabali muscles it in for two more. Aisha looks just fine. Ten-point game. Watkins, beauty on the turnaround. Eight points this half for Ashlyn Watkins. And I thought Aisha Koulibaly played defensively that really well. Gave her the space. That's just how good Ashlyn Watkins is off the bounce. Koulibaly giving a little room to operate. Throws up another tough one. Aisha Koulibaly on a run of her own right now. She's got 15 points. She has scored the last eight for Texas A&M. Wiley denied by Koulibaly, but Fagan there to clean it up. Missed opportunity right there for Texas A&M. Now for Wiley to Fagan. Far two. And we'll come back. For Wiley, did Watkins grab the rim? No, I don't think she did. Let's they look to the paint again with Cardoso. On the cut, Johnson. And one. Tessa Johnson showing some strength, getting the basket and the foul. 34 paint points now for South Carolina, and they're doing it by moving without the basketball. Great pass by Camilla Cardozo to rape, I'm sorry, to Tessa Johnson, and she finished. With South Carolina, be proud of that. It's another thing truly believe you can beat them, and this is where right now execution is at a premium. Well, Bali had to go up and get that pass. Made the pass to where? Who finished? Bali said it worked in the third. Let's just go to it in the fourth. Amazing hops to get up, and then gives the assist this time to where for two. With no Koulibaly on the floor, who's going to get the shot opportunity? It's Rodgers. Five points for Rodgers. A gamble in the backcourt by Green. Here's Pow Pow back the other way. Cardoso with the putback. For South Carolina. And an open three for Hall. Cardoso an offensive rebound. Pow Pow for three. Parker's okay, because that was an awkward fall. Eric, 13 offensive rebounds on the game, and this was probably the biggest one. The kick out to Pow Pow. Part of a busy day here in Greenville. Here's Full Wiley with the basketball. Chloe Kitts leans in. Count it and one. Chloe Kitts with a chance for a three-point play. 18-point game. Here's Rodgers. Rodgers, tough shot for two. 
defended by Bowles. Watkins rolls to the basket, trying to make the extra pass. It was at the feet of Kitts. And back the other way comes Hilton. Hilton to the basket. Good finish by Tanea Hilton for her first points. So there was a stop and a score. And they do it again. And I got to believe South Carolina is going to start working some clock. That clock now reads 320 and counting. Watkins hangs in the air and puts down two more. Ten points for Watkins all in the second half. Taking way too long for a to get into their half court offensive sets right now. Koulibaly rips through, throws it up, count it, and the foul. Aisha Koulibaly now with 23 points and a chance to add to it. Here's the pressure from AM. Here comes Full Wiley with the handle. Full Wiley into the front court. Full Wiley with the finish. Green defended by Johnson. Shot clock at five. Koulibaly has to launch. She cannot miss right now. Work some clock. 1.10 to go into the hands of Fagan. Try to get it to Johnson. Johnson caught it and finished. But Joni Taylor had India Rogers at the table, was going to get her in, and then just pulled her back and had her turn her down a seat. And Hang there you go. <laughs> Koulibaly with 32. It is a new career high. In the end, it will be another win for South Carolina. Another 30 win season. Carolina wins it 79-68. They are moving on to the semifinals in Greenville.